Hello all, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 18 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create mount point using Databricks Utilities mount function. So in our past videos, we have already discussed about what is Databricks Utilities and also we have discussed about various utilities inside it. We have discussed about file system utilities as well, right? So this mount function is or this mount command is part of that file system utilities. Let me practically show you this. Let me go to Azure Databricks workspace. So this is my workspace here. Let me try to create a new notebook and let me name it like maybe mount notebook. So I'm just naming it like mount notebook. Let me hit create. So this creates a notebook and make sure whenever you create a notebook, you attach that notebook with a cluster. So here this mount notebook uh, I am attaching with a demo cluster. So this cluster is right now at a uh, not running state that's why you see this color as a gray here so let me start this cluster so that we can make use this cluster to run our code here so once the cluster on we can write our code here and we can see so let's wait for the cluster to appear okay so now cluster is online now you can see the green tick here that means cluster is running so we know from our past videos that there is something called databricks utilities under the Databricks utilities, there are a lot of utilities which we can make use inside the Azure Databricks notebooks. So we know how to list down the available utilities inside this using this help function, right? If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch them so that you will make sense of it, whatever I am doing it here. So let me hit shift enter to execute this command. So this is going to list down all the utilities available inside this Databricks utilities. So uh, let's wait for the command to execute here. And you can see here, there are so many utilities. In our past video, we have discussed about this file system utility, right? So let's try to see what and all the commands available inside the file system utilities. So Databricks utility does then file system dot help. So let me execute this by hitting the shift enter button. So this is this is going to give you all the utilities or all the commands available inside the file system utilities. So in our past video, we discussed about all these utilities like CP, head, LS, MK, RDS. So all these utilities we have discussed, but we haven't discussed about this mount utility or mount command, right? So in this video, we are going to use uh, this mount command to create a mount point. So firstly, what you have to understand is what is this mount point? Mount point is nothing but like attaching your external storage with your Databricks file system. So you, we know right what is Databricks file system? Databricks file system is like a, a file system which is built in with your Databricks. You can think like that. So now if you attach any external storage with this Databricks file system, then you can access that file external storage also as if you are accessing a local file system. Uh, you will make sense of it when I create a Databricks, uh, I mean when I create a mount point and try to use commands on it. So uh, let me go to uh, Databricks workspace here and let's try to see what and all the parameters we should supply for this mount function. Uh, for that what you can do, inside this help text you can pass your function name directly or command name directly for which you want to see the documentation. So let me hit this shift enter. This will get you the documentation about this mount function, all the details. If I scroll down here, you see this mount command takes source parameter. That means your external storage uh, path. Then mount point. That means inside the Databricks file system, uh, what is the location where you want to mount that uh, particular external storage. Mount is nothing but like attaching. So still your external storage is outside only, but you can access the external storage as if you are accessing a local storage. Okay. Uh, and, and also you, you need to configure uh, or send some extra configuration. Like for example, account key. Let's assume you want to access Azure blob storage. Then you need to provide the st storage path which you want to mount and also give a name for that mount point here using this mount point parameter. And then for under the extra configurations, you need to supply your account key maybe. So blob storage will have something called account key, uh, right, to authenticate. So you can supply that account key into this extra configuration or parameter. So let me practically show you that. So under DB utils, DB utils dot, let me hit control space to get the intelligence here. Then under file system utilities, FS dot, then let me uh, control space will give you the intelligence and uh, I am searching for the mount. So this is the function or this is the command that will help you to mount any external storage with the Databricks file system. So for our, uh, if I go to presentation, see the same code written here, Databricks file system mount point for the source parameter, 
you need to supply your uh, so in this example i am taking a blob storage to uh, to attach that blob storage as a mount point into the databricks file system so for the source i am passing my storage uh, uh, container path for example you don't want to attach the container you want to attach specific folder inside the container then what you need to do you need to mention slash and the remaining path here i will show you that also practically and then for the mount point parameter give the name under mount whatever the path you want to give give that path name here then under extra configurations you need to supply a dictionary in the dictionary when if you are using account key then this value you should use as a key in the dictionary and then account key value you should use as a value for that key so let me practically show you that for the interest of the time i have already copied that code into my notepad so let me copy this let me go to azure databricks notebook here and let me paste my code here now if you see source then mount point then extra configurations okay so all these three parameters and we are supplying values so for the source if you want to access a blob storage then you need to use this waas ps that means windows azure storage blob storage uh, uh, then here you need to provide the container name then the storage account name then blob.core.windows.net slash then if you have any remaining path as well uh, which you want to attach then you need to give that so let me go to this tab here so this is my storage account and inside this storage account if i navigate to containers i have some container i have a container called sample container here so for uh, let's say i want to uh, create a mount point for this sample container that means the moment i created a mount point i can access all the path or all the files and folders inside this container as if i am accessing local files from the databricks file system so let me take this container name let me go back to my code so here i i should replace it with a container name then let me take the storage name so storage name is blob storage mahir so let me hit this and let me copy this storage account name i am copying this so indirectly i am creating a mount point for blob storage here okay so let me copy this then uh, maybe i want to give a name for this uh, mount point like maybe blob storage okay uh, then under the extra configurations i need to use a dictionary so i am using this dictionary in python is nothing but like a uh, json syntax that will contain a key and value so here for this key you should use this fs dot that means file system dot azure dot account dot key then here you should use your storage account name actually so what is my storage account name my storage account name is this one right blob storage mahir let me copy this then paste this storage account name then blob dot core dot net so this is the key we should use it and to this key you need to supply a account key value for your storage so let me go to my blob storage and in the blob storage if you go to access keys you can see your storage account key that means with that key anyone can access your storage account so let me hit show keys now here either of these keys you can use so i am copying the first key here going to my notepad sorry notebook and then replacing this value with my actual account key what i copied now if i execute this code this is going to create a mount point for this location for this sample container into my databricks file system so the moment you create that mount point after that all the files and folders inside this uh, container you can access as if you are accessing a local local file system uh, files and folders so if i go to containers in the blob storage and if i go to sample container right now if you see inside this sample container there is a file called employees.csv and there is a input folder also right so we are creating a mount point up to here only up to sample container so that means all this we can access as if you are accessing a local files so if i show you that practically you will make sense let me hit this shift enter here to execute this cell that will create a mount point actually let's wait for the cell execution to complete here once the cell executed successfully you will see here a true message saying that uh, your mount point created successful so let's wait for the command to execute here see command executed successfully that's why you are seeing a message true now mount point is created that means from this moment i can use this path which will directly represent my sample container in the blob storage so what i will do in our past videos you know that under db utilities file system there is something called ls command that command will help you to give the uh, child items right for example uh, inside this sample container what and all the files and folders i have if i want to list down them then i can use this ls command so now in this storage i want to list down under this sample container right but since i created a mount point for that with this name so i am directly using that mount point name and i am trying that uh, i am trying to use this ls uh, function there so let's see whether this will list down you 
all the folders and files inside that particular path or inside that sample container or not. So let me hit shift enter to execute this command. See now it says like under this path you have employees.csv and also you have input folder right. How that is happening? If you see this code of line, I am not using any storage account name, I am not using any authentication, nothing. I am simply using something like my local file path. But still it is working, still it is going to external storage and getting you that information. So all this is happening because I created a mount point and I given a name for that mount point and that name I am using it here. So there is another command right if you have seen my previous videos which will allow you to copy the files. So under file system utilities when I click this space enter you will get an insurgence. So there is a command called cp that will help you to copy file from one location to another location right. So what I will do maybe I want to copy this employees.csv file from this sample container to uh, maybe a data folder. So I want to have a data folder here. Inside the data folder this file has to be copied. So let's see whether I can do that or not. So before that let's try to see the content of this employee.csv file to make sure that whether the content also will move or not. So let me hit this edit button to see the content of this file. You can see there are totally three employees here right. Now let me close this and uh, uh, let me copy this uh, file name. Then I am going to my uh, notebook and under the cp here you need to mention which file you are trying to copy so i want to copy under mount blob storage so that is what my uh, mount point name then there is a employees.csv file take that file and then copy that file i want to copy that file into the same storage maybe and uh, that means into the same uh, mount point right so into the same mount point but a different folder so after this container till here it will represent your sample container right so after the container I want to have a data folder and inside the data folder I want this employees file to be moved. So let me hit the shift enter to run this cell. Once this cell execution completes now if I go to storage and if I refresh this the sample container I should see data folder and if I if I go inside the data folder I can see employees.csv file as well. And also if I let me show you the content of this file also to make sure data also moved. So let me hit this edit button here to see the content. See totally three employees here as well. So that's how now if you closely observe once I created a mount point it is very easy for me to play with the data there right. I am able to copy the file I am able to see the content of the folder all the child items. So everything you can do lot of things you can create a new directory you can delete a folder or you can delete a file. So lot of things are available. So please watch my file system utilities video to know how to do all that stuff. So let's go back to presentation. So I think that's it in this video. So you need to make sure once you create a mount point you have to delete that mount point also if you are no longer using that. Uh, we, will, we will be discussing about how to delete the mount point and also how to list down available mount, mount points. Everything we will see in our upcoming video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.